Hello everyone, Crydox here, and welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons. In this episode, we are going to be working towards all sorts of MV stuff. Now that we are in the MV age, we have a lot to do. I've actually kind of accidentally completed a few already. Um, what, oh, we never got our reward for the circuit assembler. Let's take a, an LV and just roll the dice. A fan. <laughs> What is this? Mob farm? Use a fan to blow mobs or items where you want. Apply a redstone signal to activate. That's hilarious. So I actually got coins and a fortune three MV loot bag. That's so funny. Where was that quest? Uh, dust in the wind. That was in the MV age. That's so funny. Okay, there. We just got that one done. What do you need to make a fan? Okay, I mean, you know, I've seen... I've seen cheaper recipes. We saved ourselves some resources. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Okay, uh, I'll put that away. And now we'll try our MV loot bag. <gasps> a free digger's backpack? Okay. That's not nothing. Sweet. Okay. I mean, I don't really need it right now, but it's something. Oh, what do I have in here? Apparently random. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot what I had done. Uh, I went and mined a bunch of clay. So what that means is we have a bunch of clay dust and I already threw it all in here. So there you go, lots of clay dust. It's not as much as it looks like, I promise. That will go away in the blink of an eye. I will macerate the aluminum gravel, and then we'll ditch the cobblestone. The rest of this, I can just smelt, right? Stone dust, I'm just gonna trash. And then these guys could just smelt it down. Okay, so anyway, uh, MV age. First, I'm gonna need some food. Look at all those PB and J's or well, I guess, yeah, they're peanut butter and jellies. Um, we decided to go ahead and make a bunch of sandwiches. So we're gonna be working our way through these. I guess I didn't need this many. Um, and then I was able to make a few other things that we hadn't had before. Mostly bread was the missing ingredient, bread. And then for the jellies, it was jelly and bread and sugar all at the same time made a few other random things so hopefully we can get our green hearts filled up here and steel casings what are those for i don't remember but i have them i've got a fermenter a fluid canner and a basic miner but i don't really like the basic miner what i want is a good miner the problem is to make that we need two pistons which are not cheap and a sensor which needs a flawless emerald. And I don't, I do have one, sweet. Okay, so I already have that for the sensor. Redstone alloy cable, let's do that. So we can reduce our our energy loss and make, make placing LV machines a little easier. Having that lossless cable is pretty big. So to make that, we're gonna need silicon dust, which I did macerate some of those silicon ingots. We're gonna need redstone, and I think it's just coal dust. And we chuck that all in the mixer. And of course we need some sort of channel. Redstone alloy. Uh, let's see, dust, mix, channel two. There we go. So now we can get that will be three stacks of redstone alloy. Okay, so to cook redstone alloy, it is just channel 11 for oxygenated or not. That's a pretty big difference. This is twice the speed. Um, how much oxygen do we, do we got right now? I've got a good amount. That's enough for two stacks. But then we'll have used up all our oxygen. I forget, does this one take oxygen? 
It's actually oxygen free, so I'm, I gotta spend my oxygen on something. Um, now, we're not gonna have enough power to cook all of this. In fact, we're not even gonna be able to cook a decent chunk of it. What did I just see? Conductive iron? What does that do for me? You cannot make conductive iron cables. That feels weird to me. Given what the material is called. Okay. Um, do the math, Crydax. Do the math. So 96,000 per dust. And the amount of power we have is roughly 700. So that's 19. 100k which means I can do 19 of these only oh jeez that's not very good definitely need more power so I'll have to do like 20 at a time and then once I can get like an MV combustion generator, things get a lot better for us. I could also make four LVs. Is that worth it? Combustion generator. So let's see. We're looking at mostly just steel and random copper and stuff. Only one circuit required. Maybe I will make a couple more LVs. Because, yeah, I can pretty easily add two more onto this. Um, this is pretty high on my list now that we have some more MV circuits. Really? We didn't even finish the amount that I had? I only threw 20 in there. I guess it almost made it. Oh, I get it. These aren't okay. So I'm not crazy. Um, they all need to be the same kind of battery because these ones are running out sooner. And this isn't distributing equally is the other thing I need to think about. And that's creating a problem. Okay. I hadn't thought about either of those things. And if these are all lithium, then it will distribute equally because it'll be, it'll have enough amperage to distribute equally. So we kind of created a problem for ourselves by mixing battery types. I hadn't even thought about that. That does explain the the time I think it happened in the last episode or two episodes ago I was also confused for now I'll just throw everything in here and I know it's not quite gonna be right but yeah okay well unfortunately that leaves us with 19 which means I need one more okay now I'll turn that back on Okay, and we said we're making eight X's. I'll just directly make eight X's. Oh yeah, I made all the potent pipe plates. So those are ready to go. I think, I think I'm gonna go with the large pipes. I could go with huge. You make the double plates and then those make the huge. I just, am I gonna have that much steam? I don't know, maybe. I think for now, I can always make more potent later and we can recycle it. I think it recycles perfectly. So for now, we'll just make the large pipes. And we will need a new tool. What did I, is that a wrench? I think that was a wrench. Which also needs a hammer. Okay, so these potent pipes, potent pipes, uh, we need to get up there. 
with it. Because that's where we need the MV steam right now. can fully get our MV amp and is that even are we making enough steam for an MV amp we have a little bit of a uh, you know steam battery here but it's not very much in terms of EU that's less than half of that number in energy units so we're talking like 200,000 EU is about it roughly after loss and all that so it's not a very big battery of steam. Um, and how much are we making? We're making... Look at how much glue we still have. I'm making 80 per tick times eight. Why is math hard today? Equals 80, 40 from each times eight divided by two. I'm only getting 160 EU out of this before loss and efficiency. So, yeah, we get about one MV amp total. That's not great. It's still free power that I don't have to touch or mess with, which I appreciate, but that is pretty much tapped out at this point. This wasn't supposed to be this permanent of a solution. <laughs> oh no, it's already horrendously ugly. Okay, so that'll get our our initial uh, lithium so or lithium uh, lumina supply, and yeah, we'll get some lithium too. And then we can grab our redstone alloy cables. Chuck that in there. Give that twelve seconds. The assembler is still happily rubberizing. We've got our annealed copper now. Sweet. Oh, zero. The loss is zero. That feels so good. Now these lose one, but carry MV voltage. Bloop, 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 bloopy, 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 bloop. I hope I'm right about being able to face all the battery buffers into it. Um, yeah, I hope I'm right. <laughs> I guess we will see. Uh, that's just classic, isn't it? I have too many batteries. Oh, there it is. Because we have more than 8x that could go into it. But because more than 8x will never need to be traveling along it, I think we're okay. Hmm. And I know it causes more loss to do it this way, but I am going to do it that way. And then... Let's see... No, I'm going to remove these entirely. We'll use those in other places. And we'll just get this full of lithium. Lithium, lithium. Okay, we've got eight lithiums, which is actually enough, but more will just allow for more power total. And then I need to move these down.
And what I'll do is get some redstone cable, which I just don't have yet, to feed into this. I'm gonna be swimming in lithium. By the way, how's our steam? Um, I just realized I should have an elevator down. We're actually still full on steam. That's surprising to me. I figured using that MV machine would have started draining our steam reserves. Oh, it's full on water. Right. Right, right, right. So we need a overflow valve. No? I didn't do it? 30,000? Enter? I wonder if we need to update it. Hmm. Jeez, that was way harder than it should have been. No idea what was going on there. It's not like a chunk loading thing. I don't know what happened with that. So I'm starting to get worried that these overflow covers are not to be used. Okay, so now how's our steam doing? Hundred ninety-three, hundred eighty. It is decreasing. Okay, so that is using up too much steam. I think I want 12x. Choose a six a piece. Okay, so two more. Okay, I've expanded our uh, space here a little bit and I'll probably expand all that as well. But we need to rearrange all this pretty desperately. So I'm gonna take redstone alloys that gets me two more I've got one 12 Xer we'll have three that should be enough because then we can fit three generators on each side vertically which feels well first of all that's more than I have right now so that one goes with the miner. Oh, but it's the wrong voltage. Hmm. I guess I could do two LV combustion generators plus a, uh, what are they called? Transformer. Which. Nice. Okay, these are actually cheap. They use uh, the, the lower tier hole rather than the higher tier. So what I can do is I can... I can up, con upvert, <laughs> convert up uh, the LV signal. And then this is like the quadruple version of that. You just add more tin and copper. And then you can also do the half mode, two to eight. Cool. Um, regardless, for now, I just need you to be rubbered. So if I truly want both EBFs to be able to run full time, what we will need to do 
is have nine LV amps. Which is kind of crazy. And we also would like to not waste all of the fuel. Okay, there we go. Now I have officially four amps feeding into a large amount of battery buffering. They're all the same type of battery. And what that means is that these will drain equally, which is important so that we don't end up putting out an amount of amps that isn't eight. This will either put out the full amperage that these guys need or nothing. Oh, and because it's lossless, I actually might not need more than eight amps. I kind of forgot about that. Right. Right, right, right. Because the recipes that we're running are at most 120 EU. I'm pretty sure the blast furnace caps out at 120. Uh, for MV, that is. Which means for four amps, it's going to be using 120 and we'll be producing 32 out of 33. I can't remember if that's better than 124 or worse. 32 30 thirds. No, I didn't do that right. Um, because I'm using 33 for every 32 I need, and every 32 I need, that's the ratio times 120. Yeah, okay. So I'm using 123.75 at the end of the day. After accounting for the loss. So even though I'm losing four units, I'm losing one thirty-third rather than one thirty-second. So it's slightly better than if the recipe took one twenty-four. It's hard to describe what I mean, but you might understand what I'm saying, or you might not. Either way, it's not important. <laughs> What's important is we're actually making a lot of power now. And if I can make a couple more combustion generators, then we should be able to run this thing for a long time. So let's actually make two more. Oof, okay. We've made four combustion generators in this episode. Um, all right, and then we're gonna attach them like this. I will not hook them up because I'm gonna use the extra fuel that we've got here. One, two, three, four, should fill them up. Perfect. And then we hook them up this way. Need the wire cutters. Sweet. Wow, six amps in. So we're only using two amps now. How long will it take two amps to drain 10 batteries? So that's 1 million EU. 1 million divided by 64 divided by 20 is how many seconds it will last. And you need a space. Uh, 781 seconds. So we have over us like 13 minutes of EBFN. Which will get even better if I add some more batteries. Wow, nice. 13 minutes of EBFN, and we've got all this lithium. Oh, oh, oh yeah, baby. Um, battery. How do we recycle? We need the extractor to get the battery hull back. So I should be able to grab all the old batteries now. Bloop. 
and toss them in the old extractor over here, which we were just talking about not using very often, and here we are. All right, I'm doing it. I'm making the scanner. I don't care what anybody says. It's four MV circuits. It's worth it. Um, I do need another uh, radar. What's that thing called? Sensor, uh, which we can do. And then another MV hole, which we should be able to do pretty easily. And the thing we've wanted for oh, so very long. Ta-da, scanning bees, crops, and more. So now I think, I think I can just chuck stuff in there. Like these, oh, bummer. Okay, so like these seeds right here, I can chuck them in. It does some, some doodad. Why did I just get the benzene tier? And then we get that. 113. So that's a bad seed. 113 is very bad. And those must be one. Oh no, never mind. Okay, well we'll we'll get into um IC2 stuff in a bit. I'm still not quite ready for it. One zero three. Resistance is pretty useless because it actually slows the crop down, and if you're not dealing with weeds anyway, it doesn't do anything for you. Three zero two. There we go. The growth being three is pretty pretty decent. Now, if I collect these, these are just the default gold ore berries. So, what do I get if I harvest those? Are these all the same? I'm actually curious. It's also weird that the lumber axe doesn't work on these. It's kind of annoying. All right, the healing axe is actually faster. Yeah, they're just classic 1-1-1s. One, one, Interesting. Okay. So then... To get that quest, though, I need 32 unknown seeds. So I kind of want to randomly cross a bunch of stuff. And the easiest way to do that is not with... It's actually just with, like, sugarcane, something that grows fast. Um, hold on. I need a... Cable. Sure. I got rid of all my tin cables. Um, and then we grab this. Okay, so now that should be able to power both things. Weed Xing is uh, enabled. We'll grab the hopper. With more Weed X. And then this guy will do the scanning and we'll have a hopper for that. That's not what I wanted. Hopper, auto output, two chests, maybe iron chests. Ooh, and now that I can get MV assemblers, we're gonna be able to do lots bigger chests more cheaply. Okay, that's what I wanted. And then I will grab these. Now let's go get some sugar canes. If I can find them. 
Do I still have some in here? I might have used them all to make sugar. Seems reasonable. All right, I gotta go grab some more. Now I do have some unknown seeds up here. Oh, we got a lot, okay. Unknown. Unknown. Oh, they're sorted by alphabetical. So that's all the unknowns. See, the problem is I don't have a lot of unknowns because I was scanning them with the crappy scanner thing. Um, I do have lemon, which is important. The rest are probably not so important. I guess moss. Eggplant, ivy, those are the only different things. But yeah, we need to start collecting unknown seeds because I need to hold 32 at once. Hey now. How did we get, how did weeds get there? Is this not working? Okay, I did some research and it seems other people have a similar problem. Um, something is wrong with how this... Apparently the crop managers don't um, apply to empty crops, I think is the problem. Which is really weird, because then weeds are going to pop up. But it can apply. I don't know. It's confusing. Um, even with the Googling, it, it wasn't immediately clear what was going on. So I'm not really sure if this is going to prevent weeds the way we expect it to or not. So we'll just have to, I guess, keep testing it. But like theoretically, this should have zero weeds, even if I plant those now. See, and that did use some of the weed X. There, it just used some more. But it's probably using weed X on these, and I don't know if it's using weed X on the middle ones or not. Um, whatever the behavior is, other people have had issues with it online, so that's a thing. But yeah, now we're gonna try to build up some unknown seeds and we'll get them all scanned after we get the quest done. Okay, we are back. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long it's been uh, since the cut, because uh, it's the next day in real life, and my memory is not great. Goldfish memory. But, all that to say, I am making some rubber, because we actually... We're not out. We still have quite a few stacks, but we were starting to run out, and I figured we should get this processing, because it's not the fastest thing in the world. I guess it's pretty fast, because don't we make nine ingots for every one of these? So nine ingots every 30 seconds. But yeah, I just wanted to get rubber going again. Um, I worked on a few random things. But yeah, the goal uh, right now is to get some more aluminum. I did get some more silicon as well, which will be useful for, I don't know, all sorts of random stuff. I know we need silicon dust for a lot of the advanced materials that I mix in the mixer. So we're going to do that. And let's go ahead and grab. Let's see. Illumina. And everything else in here is not what we want. I need a uh, cryolite. And it's one to two. So where's the rest of my Illumina? Is it up here? There it is. Okay, so this right here is going to consume a lot of energy. 200K per 10. So 60, uh, 1.2 million for a stack. Um. 
Well, I guess we already did the math on this, right? Like I'm, I'm consuming 120, uh, 120 per second times two, cause two EBFs are running times 33 out of 32 is the actual amount of energy I'm consuming per second. And the amount that I'm producing is six times 32. That's the amount I'm producing. My production minus consumption gives you profit. So I'm only using 55.5 per tick. So then I can take that number, which is 1.6 million, divided by 55.5, divided by 20, and this is the amount of seconds we can run. So we can run for over 20 minutes, which still doesn't tell me how many I can put in here. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, we're running this one. So 20 minutes. Uh, let's see, we're looking at 1.3 minutes times six. This is about eight minutes per stack. So I can do two stacks. That's kind of all I wanted to know. There we go. Sweet. So that's actually gonna be a decent amount of Illumina. Aluminum, al aluminium, I should say. My bad, my bad. I need to get used to saying that. Uh, let's munch on some foods here. Hey! There it is, nine hearts, baby. Okay, trash the bowl. And I think the next thing I wanna make, did I decide yet? If I decided, I forgot what it was. Maybe the MV Fluid Extractor for cheaper gears? Yeah, because cheaper uh, aluminum gears, aluminum gears, uh, will help a lot with the pistons. That'll save me one entire, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll cost five instead of six aluminum for this. I guess it doesn't save too much else. Um, and the extruder. Maybe I make the extruder first, actually. Can the extruder make gears? Uh, aluminium gear. Oh, I can just extrude the gears. I was thinking I needed to fluid solidify. But yeah, we can extrude four to uh, four to one as well. So yeah, MV extruder then is what we want. Where is the extruder in here? Extrude all the things, okay. Oh my, oh my. Is this optional? <laughs> nope. It wants us to make all of those. How fun. How fun. Um, wonderful. So, one, two, three, four. I already have a couple of these, but not. No, I guess I don't have any of these. These are the extruder shapes. Oh gosh. That's really annoying. So I have to make all of those casting forms, huh? All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna need some aluminium plates, which I don't even have. And some aluminium rods. Oh yeah, I'm making a lot of lathed things. I'm gonna need a faster lathe, I think. An MV lathe is in our future. I have a lot of random things I need to grab. The tin plates I made in order to make some more uh, fluid cells. But yeah, until we have aluminum rods, we can't do anything with that. So, 
We already got the scanner. The miner. We're pretty much ready for that once we have a lot. Oh, what I can work on is Cooper nickel. That's what we can do. Uh, nickel, two, copper, two. Let's actually do three of each. So that'll be six stacks of Cooper nickel. Boom, boom. Nice. And that should do it. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. Let me grab... Some more coke processing. And yeah, someday we'll change how this works, but not today. Because you know what? This is working for me. Ever since I got the overflow valves installed, this has been pretty easy to manage. Look at that. Look at all those blocks of coal coke. And then... These already have a ton in each of them. But they are out of iron. Somehow. So we'll throw more iron in. I am so happy I made four of these. I can't even tell you. Making four of these was one of the best... Best decisions past Crydax has ever made. I have not run out of steel, I don't think once since we started. I mean, maybe like right after we started we did, but I still have enough steel, which is crazy. Absolutely crazy. There's some more aluminium. Uh, let's bend a few more. I'll keep a few backup ingots for whatever we need. I guess those are in the wrong place, too. And now I've got some rods. Oh, I didn't think about the dust. That's gonna be annoying. Um, next time I should... Uh, use the extruder to make the aluminium rods, and that way we don't waste anything. Yeah. Right? Because doesn't this come out of the extruder? Um, yeah. I could have done that at LV, even. Maybe, maybe I did make a mistake by not making the LV extruder. Not really sure. Okay, hold on. These trash cans should go up... Why is that not working? Am I press? Whoa, am I pressing the wrong key? It's not letting me drag these. I'm holding shift, which is what I normally hold to move these around. Oh, th there we go. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. And then. Okay, ants extruder. So I need steel fluid pipes. I want to say I have some. And then... The two circuits. And then the piston, which needs the aluminium gear. I'm going to preemptively make two more of those, just because I know I will need them. Advanced extruder. Okay, Cooper Nickel wires. Let's start with that. Cooper Nickel ingots. We're still on 16. We should have some more Cooper Nickel. Every time I say that, I think of Pumper Nickel. Don't know if that's the same thing. It, it might not be. One of them is food, the other one is a metal, so probably shouldn't mix those up. go and then that guy turns into uh, I hate that uh, this and then oh no there are two Xers that we need actually right nope four Xers 
There we go. Now I just need the piston, which makes me think I need to do the same little uh, doodad up here. I know that's very clear what I mean when I say the same little doodad. Motor, pump, conveyor. Let's look at the uses of the motor. It's pretty much all the things we want. Robot arm. Um, emitter. Ooh, I could make my next tier of tools. You know what? It might actually be worth it to make an MV drill. Do they... Uh... Is the MV drill... Oh, I guess it doesn't tell me. I'm thinking that this is a 5x5 five five instead of 3x3 three three mining area. The reason I never made the LV one is because I think it's basically the same as the hammer. But this could be worth making. And it's not very expensive. In fact. That's just what? Some plates, steel plates plus another plate. What if I wanted like Damascus steel? What is that? Yeah, just steel plates plus four Damascus steel plates. Um, that gets me, why are there three different? Oh, that's the EU amount from the battery. Okay, the durability is the same. So Damascus steel, what about blue steel? We've talked about blue steel. Mining speed, 45, 204. What was Damascus? 48, 256. Damascus is better. Vanadium steel? 384, but a slower mining speed. Interesting. Huh. Well, food for thought. Food for thought. I will add that to the list. Um... But what we actually want is sensor, MV, emitter, MV, and this little guy right here. Actually, no, we're gonna be fluid extracting or extruding. Can we extrude these? Yeah, I can extrude these as well. Uh, in fact, what all can we extrude? I should check. Aluminium ingot. Okay, we can do rotors, which are worse than fluid solidifiers. We can do rods, which are the same. Casings are the same. Wires would be pointless, but we can do it. Rings, blocks, all of the pipes, turbine blades, which we haven't gotten to uh, need yet. Bolts, nice and easy, rather than using the cutting machine. Um, yep, the gear for four. So really, the only thing that we need the fluid solidifier for is the freaking ingots. What about rubber? What can you make with rubber bars? You can make the rings. You can make the sheets. So then there's not too much of a need for the fluid solidifier at all, other than saving on rotors. Interesting. What does the fluid solidifier do? Um, that's the fluid extractor. I guess we sometimes need molten metals for other things, but fluid solidifier MV. Nah. Okay, what do you do exactly? What would you say it is that... Uh, what, would you, what would you say it is that you do here? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Aluminium. Um, okay, we can make nuggets. I guess that's something we can't do. Casings are the same price. Arrowheads, plates, ingots... The gears are the same price. The rotors are cheaper. Is that cheaper? 18 is 1 eighth. No, that's the same price. Um, you can make rounds, which I couldn't make with the extruder. Rods are the same. 
At least for alu- is it the same for like steel? I mean, everything... Oh, wait a second. You can't extrude steel rods, I don't think. There are certain things you can't extrude. Maybe that's what we care about knowing. All right, I've been on a sufficient rabbit hole. You're welcome. You're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? And thank you. Which one was I actually making? I've literally forgotten everything. I believe it was the extruder. <laughs> oh man, leave it to Crydax to get sidetracked. Give me that quest. Advanced extruder, baby. Woohoo! Alright, now, um, I need a little bit more space. So let's open up this area. And, oh no. Um, please don't. Okay. And then I need a wire. We need our annealed copper wire. Tin cable, copper cable. Where did I put it in here? Yeah. Let's get some of that annealed copper. And then we do something like this. Let's consider making this a little bit less wire loss. We don't have to care quite as much about wire loss because it's losing only one out of 128. It's a much smaller uh, percentage. Rather than 3%, it's l less than a percent that we're losing. But it's still, you know, free EU if I build it this way instead of the other way. We'll do that, you face that way, wire cutters, make sure that's connected and that's connected. And then I should be able to pop this guy right, uh, I guess I didn't think this through very well. It's now blocking the extruder, but it's fine. Or the uh, electrolyzer. Which I did electrolyze my lipidolite. I don't remember if I did that on camera or not, but that's where I got a lot of alumina dust plus lithium. Okay, what what we extruding? Gears? Rods? Whatever we want. I guess I should make all the shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And each one of these is four steel. That is over a stack of steel. And it's not any cheaper in the fluid solidifier. These are the same thing. So I need a stack plus four. Where did that just go? Oh, that was a visual glitch. Okay, I'm not crazy. Um, that is a lot of steel. And then we're gonna need a lot of aluminum brass as well to cover, to create the, the molds. Now I do already have, oh yeah, that's why. I have a ton of steel in there from recycling. Um, okay, so I'm gonna need more aluminum brass which I have to look it up every time. And it is aluminum brass, not aluminum brass. Very important. Uh, that is three parts aluminum, one part copper. 
to make three parts aluminium brass. And the blank mold is only one. So I need 17 ingots worth. Plus some extra while I'm here. Oh, now there's a thought. This is cheaper. That's three plus one makes four. Whereas by alloying it, you do three plus one makes three. Ah, clever. So if I get some copper dust, we save on aluminium. So I take six, 24 total. Yeah, that's plenty. So I need 18 aluminium dust. That gets me seven plus uh, according to my doodad, I don't have any more around. I'm hitting the finder key and it's not finding any. So that means, what does that mean? I need to macerate a few. Seven plus 12 is 19, 20, one, two, three, four. No, 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 I only need 18. There we go. Okay, that should do it. Uh, what else in here? Random crap. I guess I need the solidifier to make my bolts that I want. I have a bunch of silver for some reason. I'm gonna process that down. Cause if I smelt this, I get the stupid nuggets, which I know is an 11% boost if I do it that way. And yet I just don't care right now. This is just so much easier to plop it in here and be done with it. Yeah, okay. So much easier. All right, there we go. Now I mixer on these guys, which is gonna take a few seconds here. I just saw my Enderman coins. So let's roll some dice on a named, or uh, regenerating Enderman. You know, I should open this up rather than flying all the way around every time. Okay. Nope. Just a regular Enderman. Is that two regular Endermans? Yep. I mean, it adds up. How do they get out? I guess I, I need to stand uh, next to them and then they won't teleport. I thought they couldn't get out of that, but I guess they can. Um, all right, there we go. Aluminium, brass. And I can now eat my Vegemite on toast. Disgusting. Okay, there we have it. A lot of molds. And I guess we'll throw the dust in before the ingots for extra 
steel. I don't think, in fact, I don't think we're gonna need those ingots because we have all this dust from the lathing of steel that we already need to recycle into ingots. So we get to throw up all, throw these all up by the extruder. Grab ourselves a slightly larger chest, which hopefully there's no double slightly larger chest. Good, okay. It will auto output to the downwards direction. And now I can make whatever I want. We will start by making some aluminium small gears. I don't think it actually matters which slot it's in, but that one looks cooler. Let's test it out here. Um, we have power, right? Yeah, I have plenty of power. Let's throw in more alumina. More alumina! Let's keep some cryolite on hand here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Goes with four stacks of cryolite. And we do two stacks, one stack, throw it all in. Oh, oh, I see. Because you have to have 10 for it to start. Okay, so that's going. And I should just be able to grab, I'm gonna do 16. I know that's probably a few too many for what I need right now, because they're really only used for pistons, but it just feels so good, I can't stop myself. I can't stop. Look at that, look at that. Half price aluminum gears. Well, I should say small aluminum gears. And we can make something else cheaper? Or is that it? That might be it. I think pipes are the same. I guess bolts are easier. I mean, a lot of things are just easier because it's one step instead of two. Like the uh, the pipes. I don't have to make plates and then pipes. And rotors, I don't have to make fluid and then rotor. Rotors are more expensive though, so that's not just an obvious one. Rods, I don't have to remelt the dust that I get back. Wires are the same. There's really no reason to make the wires yet. Uh, bolts, I don't have to use the rods and then the cutting machine. So yeah, just easier overall. I dig it. MV extruder. And that's also just blah, 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 words. Words are hard. What else can I make now? Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So now, I, I know there's a lot of quests to turn in. I'm doing that on purpose. Now I can do this one. Ah, uh, the Magnalium Ingots. Which I already did. It's just alloy smelting, magnesium, and aluminium. And now I can do crossbow limb cast, crossbow body cast. Uh, wait, I can just cast this? No, you can't. How would a cast help you? Oh, for Tinker's part extruding, you extrude it through a uh, Tinker's cast. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, okay. So we should be able to make those then. I do have 11 more ingots of aluminum brass. Do I already have them though? Crossbow, no, I don't think I have those. No. So then I need to take my stone and make art builder, crossbow, limb. I just do two and two. No, they don't add together like that. Um, crossbow, limb, and then crossbow, body is five. Why is that not showing up? Okay, there we go. Oh, nope, glitchy. Ooh, we're feeling real glitchy today, ain't we? It's not, it's not letting me grab it. Oh, there we go, that worked. I do not understand. That is glitchy AF. Okay, 
Uh, one, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, out the door. Open an LV loot bag. You get a diamond saw blade. Um, I mean, fine, I guess. How, how much durability do we get here? Oh, that doesn't even work. Oh, it's for that. Oh, actually, it's kind of handy. I'll take another one of these. My old one was uh, down to 25%. Okay, so now I can extweed, extrudify, what is that for? I'm guessing it costs the amount it says. I'm correct in this case, so it's probably true for the other one as well. And we'll go ahead and throw the hopper on topper. And how's, how are we doing over here? Look at this, this is just beautiful. Redstone alloy cables are wonderful. Look at all this aluminium. And I need to make more redstone alloy. Uh, we need to make the four Xers to replace all this and replace all that. So we have a bit to go for red. Did I leave some over here? No, I don't think I did. Though I do have some 4X annealed cables in there. That's enhanced crop replicator. Whoa. I use these for the advanced arc furnace. That's basically it. What is a replicator? And is there an LV replicator? There is. What the heck can you make in this? <laughs> uh, nothing because I don't have UU matter. Uh, that's funny. Well, unless I can make a mass fabricator. Can I make UU amplifier? Matter fabricator on scrap. I don't quite understand. This does not have a one. Scrap can be used to make UU amplifier to make UU matter. Interesting. Huh. So we could set up infinite items this way? Come on, it can't be that easy. Oh, it's not. We need ultimate voltage to make this. For some reason, I thought we could do the... We also need HV for an LV field generator. Um, hold on. So UU matter needs, yeah, well I can use a mass fabrication, which I could make that once we have field generators, but I can't make this, well, no I can if I have a, we, okay. So, if I saw this right, it's all LV tier energy. Well, this uses 8 amps, but <laughs> but it's still LV tier voltage. Um, and then that in the replicator gets me free... I don't know what a data orb is. It's probably what you have to... Yeah, you have to scan the element. How do you make a data orb? I guess I need to be an EV. No, you can LV scanner a data orb. You grab the element. And then I can... So these are all the things I can make for free as soon as I can make this. 
As soon as I have HV circuits, red steel, and ender pearl plates, which I already have. I think I already have red steel. It's kind of like blue steel. Um, copper, gold, bismuth, zinc, copper. Yeah, I think I have bismuth from something. I don't remember. Um, you know, electrolyzing something. Wait, what? Oh, bismuth dust. Electrolyzing. Actually, no, I don't have any of those. Well, regardless, I will be there in HV. And what can we what can we generate here? We can replicate hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon. Oh, is it just literally all the elements? Oh my gosh, it's just all the elements. It's also worth noting the amount of EU this takes and the amount of UU matter that it takes. So it's not free. But this is kind of crazy. Four million. I mean, we'd be running this at HV, which would take 16. OK, yeah. So if I make absurd amounts of power and I make a lot of replicators, then maybe we can do this. But look at this 1740 seconds to make a single silver dust. Yeah, I don't think it's really meant to be run at the HV tier. OK, we can we can stop going down that rabbit hole. Thank you for humoring me. I had never looked at any of that before. So my curiosity is now sated. One thing we should make is an MV battery doodad. I did make some medium battery holes in between episodes. So now I can make some more MV batteries. Apparently I put some lithium in there. I don't know where all my lithium is at this point. Lithium dust. Where have I stored all this? There's some in there. Well, I knew that. There's some down here. 41 more. All right. What else do we need to electrolyze? Um, let's electrolyze. What do I do with mica? Mica is for concrete, right? No, it's for the mica based pulp. So I'm going to hold on to mica. Spodamine, I'm pretty sure, is just good for electrolyzing. Yeah, let's electrolyze our spodamine. That's just floating around here. And the kyanite. And Fuller's Earth is also pretty useless. Yep. You are only good for your parts. Mr. Spodamine. Okay, and we chuck all that in the top. Okay, we're also gonna have power issues because I don't have uh, more MV power, which makes the battery buffer even more important. So MV battery buffer. MV medium voltage. Do I want to do the four slot? I might as well do a 16 slot because it's just copper that I'm spending. So I really don't care. Um, and then for machine holes, we need the copper cables and polyethylene. Oh yeah, I spent all my polyethylene, didn't I? Do I have any left over? Shoot. Um, I spent all the polyethylene on those batteries, the battery holes. So I need more polyethylene. Crap. Um, okay, so polyethylene, we can get easily enough. Okay. 
Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's grab our Magnalium crossbow. Now that we're... We've done other things. One, two, three, four, five. Crossbow body. Switch it out. Extrude it. Takes 64 seconds. I'm going to need another chest just to hold all these casts. It's funny you can remove the cast partway through the extrusion process. Because technically that makes no sense. It's like still halfway pushed through and I just take the cast away. But I understand why it works. Uh, Cupro Nickel, we need to knock that down to 2x. And that's to make the motors. I also need magnetic steel rods. So we're going to polarize those. Nice work. Look at that multitasking. I just did like two important things at once while we were waiting for this. Okay, there we go. So now I should be able to upgradeify my crossbow. Now the problem with this is what's this? Magnalium crossbow bolts? Is that a thing? Um hmm. Magnalium tool rod. No, I think I'm better off. I mean, it's nice and light, but the durability uh, is not good compared to the slime. The slime tool rod is way better. And the cobalt head has way more durability. It would be a lighter arrow if I made the tip out of magnolium, but no, it's, I don't think it's worth it. I like having my 168 arrows. Anywho. Let us, we gotta repair it with some wood first. Now this is gonna make Magnolium my repair material, which is kind of annoying. Draw speed is the same, arrow speed is the same. Effective durability goes up by 30 something. Okay. Oh, there we go. The crossbow limb is where it's at. Draw speed is the same. The arrow speed goes up. Nice. And the durability goes up to 1125 effective durability. That's a lot of bolts we can shoot before we need to repair. And this will be our repair material for now. I guess I'll keep that with the tools then. No, it'll go in the it'll go in the same bin as everything else. The flame string is kind of funny because I already have a bunch. But yeah, there we go. Pew pew. Shoot clink, shoot clink, shoot clink. I mean, those things are going fast. It'll be easy to snipe guests with this thing. Should I do anything else? Bow string. What else can I make? String, enchanted fabric, and flame string. Enchanted fabric. That is a thalmcraft thing. So that's not gonna happen. Books. Okay. There we go. Now, I was in the middle of making polyethylene. And you need more of the light fuel. Keep ferrying this over. Some more empty cells for steam cracking. It's one to one, so we're gonna need a total of 64 if I had 6,400 fuel. What just damaged me? 
Oh, I'm holding steam cells. Okay, I was like, what the heck? That explains it. And while that's working, let's figure out the next MV machine we're going to make. Should I make a combustion generator? Should I make the good miner? Should I make the fluid extractor? So we can get molten metals. Um, should I make a drill? Cause that's just cool. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. Who am I kidding? Uh, whoa, that's a lot of silver dust. Uh, where's the canner? There it is. Ho ho ho, yeah. Ooh, a quest. Man, I'm just plowing, plowing through the quest book. That's probably down here. Yeah, MV batteries. I'll take an MV and another MV. Heck yes. Um, I need one of those. I need probably some more aluminum plates. I don't even remember. Uh, Damascus steel, one, two, three, four. I think that's the best thing I can use right now without having to work any harder. Is Invar any good? Eh, not really. And the Tinker tool materials don't always line up with like the durability of stuff, but yeah, Invar is not very good. Okay, Damascus steel and a bending machine. Redstone alloy, let's keep that going. Power is good to go. Now we chuck I'm gonna say I'm safe to do a half stack. If I lose a tiny bit, that's fine. Redstone Alley's not that valuable. Maybe, maybe that's too much. I guess we'll find out. But that should run for like, what did we say, 20 minutes straight? Light fuel goes in. Severely cracked, goes in the distillery. Okay, Damascus steel plates. We've got the steel plates. All I need is the drill tip. Oh no, that's what I'm making. Drill tip. So we need that. Which, I wish you could do the pattern thing. I, you know, I, I did the setting where it, it doesn't require you to hold shift which is nice, because then you don't have to hold shift, but then you can't do just the pattern, which is now what I want in this case. Um, I can do it the hard way, I guess. Hammer. Plus steel plates. Damascus steel drill tip. And that, ooh, I could make a prospector scanner. You know what? I didn't tell you guys this story, but it's it's story time. So do you want to know what led me down the blue steel rabbit trail? I was looking at the scanner, the MV scanner in particular, because it can do up to five, five by five chunks instead of three by three. And I literally was looking through all of these options. And I was like, what, what could I make? Because you'll notice the different metals the different drill tips actually give you a different scan size. It's always 40% chance of successful scan, but different metals give you a different uh, chunk and a different durability. So I was like, what should we use? And I looked at uh, Damascus steel, of course, and that gets you some good durability, 5,600 um, and three by three chunks. Most of them are three by three, like a steel one, just regular steel. Uh, I believe is also three by three, but lower than Damascus steel in terms of durability, of course. Steel leaf is actually decent, 3,300. Um, but then blue steel, check this out. Five by five, baby, and 4,500, which is better than Damascus steel. And vanadium steel has a ton of durability, but only three by three. So once I have my blue steel, I can make a prospector scanner. And between that and a good miner, we're gonna be able to just use the prospector scanner and then 
you know, do all sorts of awesome stuff. I do need a hydroxide cell. Um, I just need to collect some hydrogen. And I need a sulfuric acid, which we haven't made any yet. How do we do that again? Uh, I distill... No. How do I make this? I thought we used the hydrogen sulfide, but I guess we don't. I think the hydrogen sulfide gets us this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just do water plus the hydrogen sulfide, dilute it, and then we distill dilute it. Okay. Yeah, that's easy enough to do manually, at least. But back to the HV drill. This guy. So... Did I say HV? I meant MV. Uh, I need a single aluminum screw. Which means we're going to get eight. Because that's how extruders work. Bolt. Bloop. Bloop. Nice. Lay that. Oh, that's so fast. Wow. Aluminium is easy to process. Okay. So. MV drill. Yes. 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 Drill time. Now. Uh, MV drill. MV drill. Hmm. I wonder if this is a quest. That's for the seismic prospector. Cart modules. It's definitely not that. You know, this thing might not be a quest. Interesting. The EU meter. This is the scanner we want to make, but that needs sensors and HV. Okay, so I need HV before we can get the awesome scanner because this thing can scan crops um, on the go, which is super cool. But that's not till HV. I am excited to make this thing eventually the multi-block structure hologram projector, but we're not uh, we're not there yet. All right, all right, all right. We got to throw this in an MV machine for a minute to charge it up. And then we're gonna test test it out, take it for a spin. And while that charges, I will make the battery buffer here, which I probably should put uh, just on, I guess we only get four things per. I'm never gonna make a semi-fluid generator, let's be honest. V machine hole. Oh yeah, polyethylene. That's why I was doing all this. Multitasking over here. Um, okay, a little bit more fuel. Probably like 56 or something. Now I'm curious. Ho ho! Buddy, I was close. Wow. Go team. You know what's not cheap? Is an MV drill that we now have. Let's go take this for a spin. Is it 5x5? Five I don't know yet, but we're gonna find out. 
Or is it still three by three? Um. Wait. Oh, I'm severely disappointed. Oh, man. These don't have an area of effect like drill, like uh, hammers. Oh. That is a massive bummer. Really? Come on. That just sucks. And here I thought we were going to have an upgrade to our mining hammer. It doesn't seem to have any settings. Or anything. Because in Nomi Factory, these definitely um, have an area of effect. That does not seem to be the case here. And it's possible that it is still the case. It just um, is only at HV. Maybe at HV they become 3x3 three three, and then at, you know, the next one it's 5x5 five five or something. But yeah, this is basically just a, a glorified pickaxe at this point. And I already have a great pickaxe. That's not loud as heck. I mean, it is instant on cobblestone, which is kind of cool. But no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be using this very much. Well, that's a bummer. But we made it because it was cool, and I do not regret making it. Oh, also, we need to collect our unknown crops. I've already done this once, and I got some carrots of all things. Um. At least I think what I no I know what I got were carrots because um <laughs> because it dropped regular carrots which was funny all right well sometimes you're disappointed and I guess this is one of those times <laughs> that's okay we'll live uh, I'm still happy with with the decision to make that <clears throat> decision to make that. And I'm happy with what we've accomplished in this episode. Flowering vines. Um, I'm just going to ditch those. Yeah, sweet. So we've, we've made some serious progress. And we're getting plenty of polyethylene. So now I can make the... Um, let's see, i got to take the rubber out and put the polyethylene in. I'm almost at the point where having two different assemblers just to separate out polyethylene and rubber recipes would be really nice. In fact, I am at the point where that would be nice. I just need to set it up. And now we put in the... What do I put in? Well, I need... Copper cables. Plus the aluminium plates. So I go this channel 8, because there's 8 plates to make the MV holes. Or casings, I should say. And then the battery buffer uses a machine hole. So then I need to take those and combine it with polyethylene and cables. There we go. And there's two MV machine holes. Boom, baby. Sweet! Okay, and now one of them is all set to become medium voltage battery buffer. Whoa. Uh, flying into the ceiling. And then now I can move all this again. There we go, battery buffer. That's only a 1x cable, which means I could only put one battery in there for risk of burning the cable. So the better idea is to take some 4x, which means I can put up to four batteries in there without any risk. Make sure those are connected. And now I'll take the battery that was in there because now there's no point, put it in here. 
And uh, let's see, I have some more batteries. I'll take three more. God, these are chonkers. 400,000 EU a piece. Some serious energy. Okay, and once those, those aren't running, so that should start. Yeah, now we're charging up power. There we go. Sweet. So this will be a nice little MV power. I might move this setup um, before I continue it for too long. Probably should, to be honest. I don't know if I want it to be up here. I might put it over here. I haven't really decided what I'm doing yet with all these rooms. I maybe should decide. But for now, I think we should call it an episode. I've gotten a lot done. We've gotten our MV battery buffer. We've got power running so much better for the EBFs. Look at these bad boys. Look at all that redstone we smelted. Uh, redstone alloy, I should say. So now I can get a bunch more redstone cables for lossless LV. We've distilled polyethylene. We made a drill that was pointless. I've got my MV extruder, which allowed us to upgrade our crossbow. And now we have the ability to make these gears super easily, and I love that. I love that so much. Now I can just make gears for four instead of six, which is quite cheaper. So yeah. That's going to be it for this episode. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next episode.